count of three, I will snap my fingers, and you will wake up. One. Any louder, Grandpa? Can you get me closer? One. Before the start of storyboarding, we will read the script. So basically, after reading the script, we have a small discussion with the storyboard director. In the discussion, we have a clearer vision of what the director wants, and through that, we will start with storyboarding. Basically, what we do in the storyboarding stage is to convert the ideas of the script visually through sequences of images. So after finishing the storyboard, we will compile every image sequences into a video, which we call it the animatics. So basically in the animatics, we will have a rough timing and putting all the stretch tracks and sound cues what for the animators. On? Grandpa, uh, stay here a sec, okay? If this is Grandpa's dream, what was Patel doing here? If this is Grandpa's dream, how did Zeus miss that mama? I heard that. In CG production, the layout artist is equivalent to almost like uh, the cinematographer or the cameraman in a live action production. We look at the 2D storyboards, then we go into the software and we move the camera, the props, and also the characters around. We provide a rough guide for the animators to work with so that they can work their magic where they go in and do all the fine detailed animation. What's most important, however, is still the storytelling, and layout artists are able to use the camera as an important storytelling tool. We use the camera to direct the viewer's attention to what they should be focusing on the screen. So even when there's a lot of things flying through the screen, bullets, projectiles, mummocks, we direct your attention to what's important on the screen, the key story elements that's happening on the screen. Our job as layout artists is to make it feel as if you are in the world following the action. When you're in the show, it feels as if you are flying, tumbling, running through the battlegrounds along with our heroes Zane and Zoe. 